What is going on? My name is Abu and welcome to another video. In this lecture, I'm going to teach you how style tag works in HTML and how to use it properly. If this is your first time here and you want to develop your skills in HTML, CSS and JavaScript from the ground up to the expert level, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. The style tag is used to apply styles to the current HTML document using CSS codes. And we must put the style tag inside the head tag. Now, let's write some code and learn how to use style tag properly. Here I opened up the HTML document I created for this lecture using Visual Studio Code. On line 14, I have marked up the page header using h1 heading tag and it's saying that how to use style tag properly. Now, I'm going to apply style to this page header and change its color to red. So first inside the head tag, I'll create a style tag. The opening style tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, style and right angle bracket. And the closing style tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, style and right angle bracket. You can also specify the type of the content inside the style tag using type attributes. So on the opening style tag, I'll add type attribute and its value is text forward slash and CSS. Now let's write some CSS code inside this style tag. The structure of CSS rule looks like this, starting with selector. The value of the selector can be an HTML element name, element class, or element ID. In this case, I'm going to use HTML element name, so it's h1 because I want to select h1 element. And after the element name, space, and we'll open a curly brace. Inside the curly brace, we can declare different style properties. In this example, I just want to apply a different color, so I'll add a color property like this color colon and its value is red after that I'll put a semicolon so this block of CSS code will tell the browser that find the h1 element and apply red color to its content now I'm gonna save this and let's try this up in the browser and see how the header looks Okay, it worked. As you can see, the color of the page header is now changed to red. Now, let's flip back into the editor and write one more CSS rule to change the color of the page header when the screen size becomes smaller. In order to apply different styles based on different screen sizes, we can use media attribute on the style tag. So I'll put another style tag here. So the opening style tag and closing style tag. First I'll add type attribute on the opening style tag. And its value is text and CSS. And I also add media attribute. The value of media attribute looks like this. First, we need to specify the media type. It means which type of media device the following styles will apply, such as mobile phone, tablet, desktop, print screen, or different other types of screens. I just put all, so that it will apply the styles to all types of media devices. For the second value, we need to specify the minimum or the maximum screen size to apply the following styles like this. First, I'll put AND after the first value. Then put the second value inside the parentheses like this. Max width colon 960 pixel. So this will tell the browser that apply the following styles when the screen size is smaller than 960 pixel. Now let's write some CSS code inside this style tag.
First, I'll put the selector H1 and space and curly brace. And inside the curly brace, I'll declare color property. Color colon and its value is green. And I'll put the semicolon after that. So this whole block of CSS code will tell the browser that when the screen size is smaller than 960 pixel, apply the green color to the page header. Now I'm going to save this and let's try this up in the browser and see how the header looks. First, I'll reload the page. And now let's make the screen size smaller. Okay, it worked. As you can see, the color of the page header changed to green when the screen size becomes smaller than 960 pixel. That is how you use style tag to apply styles to the current HTML document and also apply different styles based on different screen sizes. If you started learning HTML and you want to master when and how to use every different HTML tag, make sure you check out this playlist and it has everything you need to master different HTML tags. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.